Crystal Mays is back. Yes. You're bringing it back. Yes. Um, uh, obviously, it's uh, for uh, Channel 4 Stand Up to Cancer. It's on tonight. Um, were you a fan originally? Of I it? was a fan originally. It's a very eccentric show, isn't it? I realise there's a lot of there's a whole generation that, have, that don't really remember the Crystal Maze, and I was watching some old episodes, and it's an it's a weird show. I yeah. mean, a, a bold man leads some people around a sort of arbitrarily themed series of zones, playing random games to win crystals. I mean, it's a straight strange old mix. And, um, and ours is, is similarly odd. But I think that, that was um, the thing, wasn't it? Sort of that, like, that was the thing, wasn't it, when it started? The first thing, what you think, what is this? Because yeah. it, it was unique. It was completely unique. And Richard O'Brien was, was, you know, obviously set this amazing sort of atmosphere with his sort of playfulness and his eccentricity and his sort of talking to the camera and sort of almost, you know, little, little digs about the people playing that they didn't even realise he was saying, which was all of his sort of invention in creating this mythology of the game. And so we've just brought it back for this one-off edition, as you say, for Stand Up to Cancer. And I've, I've tried to sort of give a nod to, to Richard um, without trying to imitate him because, of course, he is sort of inimitable, really. He was slightly rude to the contestants exactly. well, was he? which is what we all sort of enjoyed watching yeah well we have a little celebrity squad to play in the game so I, I it's easier for me to be rude about them you know because it feels less <laughs> less mean-spirited somehow than if it had just been uh, members of the public so uh, yeah it was it was it was it was good fun and bizarrely I had shaved my head for a film project in America just coincidentally and so when they asked me would you do it it just seemed somehow Kismet, yeah. you know that Richard O'Brien had the shaved head and that and I did it just seemed kind of the right mix we, we're gonna show a clip but first of all we've got a clip of you shaving your head oh, and you? there's always something beautiful about watching someone get their head shaved isn't there so let's have a look at this first so <laughs> that that I had my head shaved um, for uh, a cancer um, charity over here Macmillan and and I think it's such a lovely feeling isn't it but sadly when you end up looking at yourself in the mirror you're like <laughs> Yeah. Where's all my hair? Well, I couldn't look Welcome at to my myself. World. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I couldn't. I couldn't look myself in the mirror for about two hours. I was yeah. honestly terrified because I hadn't been bold since I was, you know, a child, a, a baby. <laughs> so, um, so I just was petrified, and I, and I had to work up to the to the moment where I looked at myself in the mirror. And people have told me that I have quite a good shaped head, which uh, all right, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Do you um, find yourself walking around though, and you catch your reflection, completely and, bizarre. And, you, and then you go, oh, "That's me! I've yeah. got no hair. What happened?" Very weird. Yeah, yeah. I thought that if with you and Harry Hill as well, I thought I'd wear a hat. Otherwise, there'd be a lot of boldness. <laughs> on the show. I, do, I think that breaks broadcast rules. I think it? so. I think three yeah. on the same more, more than three yeah. bald heads. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a look at a clip of the Crystal Maze. It's yeah. good. Hang on a minute. Do we know what we're doing? So yeah, you're trying to make a rectangle. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bit. Put that one at the bottom. Does this work? What we put on top? Do you leave those two on top? Oh no! Can you not double it up? So is that? Yes, go on. Here we go. Down. Tremendous play. Yeah, but that goes down the side. It's just a square again. Nothing will Come on, Sarah. Yeah, square. Sarah, split those two up. Yeah. Only a minute and a half, Sarah. The University of Bolton have called. They say you're giving them a bad name. Oh, Sarah, put these two. Would you two saying something? Like oh, put, put that one there. Put this one in. Yeah, there. Just throw it down. That's right. Throw it together there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And oh, now, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. This one, this one here. Yeah. All those heavy years of partying have left her in a terrible state. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's not seen Crystal Maze before, that's the first time they've yeah, seen it. It's they weird, think, isn't it? What is going on? Because it looks like she's just playing a large version of one of those games you get in cheap Christmas crackers, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but on TV. Yeah. It's sort of it's celebrity tiling. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's it's it is an odd it is an odd show, but uh, and we're sort of playful with that, but uh, but not disrespectfully so. Like we we you know because we we're acknowledging it's an it's an unusual show and an eccentric show, but yeah. but also when you do it, well, it's just enormous the, fun. They've started the chance for the public to. I've booked in to do it. Uh, That's the right. Crystal Maze thing, and it eight months was the was the queue to get into. Well, the... they yes, they some super fans kind of raised money and built an entire yeah. Crystal Maze in North London, which you can go around as you say with your friends. But um, and we did it before we I did the show. We did it, and it's really tough. And I was mainly good at reaching things down from high shelves. <laughs> that was my main skill. <laughs> Can I say, by the way, don't forget, if you wish to donate to Stand Up To Cancer, uh, head to channel4.com uh, slash SU2C. So, um, yeah, and it's on tonight. It's on it? tonight. Uh, no, are they going to bring it back and are you going to present it? I, all we've done is this one off episode for now, so I don't, they haven't asked me to bring it sure. back. The response has been amazing, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, you know, so many people are talking about well, it. Well, they haven't seen it yet, have they? About. 
<laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's fun. I think it's a really fun show, and it's there's a good there's a good sort of it's just a nice fun um, sort of atmosphere to it, and there's some some cheeky quips at the celebs' yeah. expense. It's it's fun. Yeah. Your your career's been immense, hasn't it? Really. Thanks, mate. Can, no, it. no, it has. I was sitting there watching uh, a Big Bang Theory the other day, and then and I popped you, up. Yeah. You tell. I mean, it's amazing that you now crossed over the pond, as it were, and you were in films. You're just talking about uh, Wolverine there and stuff like that. It's, it's been quite amazing for you, hasn't it? Yeah. It's 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 it's, it's been weird, yeah. I was just doing, as you say, I did this bit in this Wolverine film, which just seems crazy to me that suddenly you're on set with Hugh Jackman or someone and wow. it's real and, you know, you're having a chat about lunch, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's, yeah, it's bizarre, it's extraordinary. It's, I never, I never kind of anticipated it, really. And it all started really with The Office, didn't right. it? Because you, you yeah. sat there, you wrote that with Ricky, it was such a huge success, even though we all know the story. Uh, <laughs> it took you quite a while to get it commissioned, didn't it, in the first place? Uh, it took us a while. I mean, you know, I, I, it, it took us a while um, to to get these because we were just we were a little bit sort of arrogant, really. We said like we'd like Ricky's going to be in it, and we're going to write it and direct it, and sort of help produce it and edit it. <laughs> and we've never done anything before ever. And, and I remember actually saying in a meeting, um, they said, "Well, why should we let you do all this stuff?" And I said, "Well, you know, I might be the next Orson Welles." <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> And they went, well, you might not be. And I went, you don't know. <laughs> it was like, we were just crazy. So arrogant. It was extraordinary. But, you know, it sort of paid off. It was, it was, it was wild. Yeah. But you, I mean, you must meet up with Ricky every now and then and sit there and go, wow, what a ride that was yeah. from that original idea where you were just working together on a radio show. That's right, yeah, and just sort of, you know, chewing the fat. And then I did this traineeship at the BBC and we sort of played around with this, this character he had and these observations and... Um, and you know, and then and it, now it's been really made in America and Israel and France and I've always wanted to see a Japanese version where they just do a really day, good day's hard work and then just leave. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> uh, I was just telling you earlier when Ricky came on, we said American Office yeah. and just sat there and went like. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. It's been yeah, a good payday, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, but let's let's not just dwell on on shows that haven't been on TV for years. Because who's interested in that? Crystal Maze tonight, <laughs> <9 o 'clock, laughs> Channel Four. So what's next for you then? What, what, Wolverine and what else can we see? Wolverine and a couple of other little film projects, and then I uh, I've been writing a film which I'm supposed to be directing in February, but uh, because it's an independent film and we haven't sort of announced it yet, I can't tell you any more because it could all collapse between now and then. And then of course I'll have said, oh yes, I'm doing. Is remember that what I you were doing this? in New York? Talking about. I was New York. doing some stuff in New York for that. Yeah. yeah. So um, but you hopefully can't next tell time us about I'm it. On, yeah. I'll, awesome. I'll Stuff. Orson Welles stuff. Orson Welles stuff. <laughs> but that must be the thing, though. The, the office gives you the opportunity, doesn't that's it? it? It opens doors and it gives you choices. It, yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's what's been incredible about it. And the fact that it's just, you know, so many people have seen it in different forms and all over the world, it's, it's crazy. Brilliant. Well, we'll be tuning into the Crystal Maze later. Yeah. Thanks, Stephen.